making this video in response to uh, after my uh, 360 GoPro 34 GoPro 360 camera rig for scanning thing that I posted about on the first of um, November last year. Um, there's been a number of people popping up doing 360 uh, scanning with. I mean, it's been a, there's been a thing. For a while, Matterport allowed you to upload 360 photos to create uh, models and stuff. But the problem is the quality, I think, um, in terms of... Anyway, I thought the bet the fairest way to do it is do like an A-B comparison. So I'll put in certain snippets of, the, of using four GoPros, each shooting a 5K picture, right? North, south, east, west sort of type of setup, right? And then, and then um, so I'll put an insert of that and show you, and then compare it to the model that I did with a... And the weird thing about it is the model's really good on the ground, but it's terrible on the buildings there. This is high. I don't think I, I think it went any higher. We just get noise. And that, the, the thing about it is, is this is like a five and a half K picture, right? Um, and a GoPro, if, if you imagine, cut, cut, sl slice this picture up into four chunks, and we're just looking at the buildings, right? The, each one of the GoPros is like five K. So effectively, that's... Um, almost uh 20k in, in in gopro using gopros going from 360 all the way around as opposed to 5k so obviously well i don't know if it, it, well i had to prove the test to myself to realize the reason why i don't use 360 cameras for scanning is they just unless you've got a 16k lat long um it's not really worth it you're better off just using regular cameras that, that's just my opinion but i'm just showing you the results I mean, it's it's cool in terms of oh, it's very convenient and stuff. But the problem is, yeah. But what what's the quality of the end result? And I just don't think I'm going to do one more check to see that because I put uh, rolling shutter on, um, and I don't know if I needed to do that. And, and then maybe that's messing things up. So I'm going to try switching over um, to uh, switch off the rolling shutter thing, um, and also I might try optimizing the cameras and things. Just try everything. To see if I can get this any better, but then my initial sort of gut instinct is it's going to be worse. Um, but it actually, in some places, it, it looks better, like on the ground. So maybe it's just got one of the settings wrong on the camera. Set. Let's just show you what I'm talking about. Um, calibration. See, I need to switch the rolling F, disable that. And also, once I've uh, solved the camera, or before I've solved the cameras, do the, or once I've solved the cameras, do the uh optimized cameras right so i need to do those two things and then i'll run a run it took about 20 minutes to do this i probably got way too many photos uh i mean maybe that's what's giving me the the sort of sharpness and the definition i'm i'm wondering um which is curious because i mean the problem is, is obviously the more photos the, more, the longer it takes to process but maybe that's because there's certain aspects of this that are just are better and there's certain aspects that are worse and um i may be i'm kind of curious to see how how few if fewer photos would improve things um because maybe that's what's putting all the noise in i, I don't know but i also i did do it in the um log profile i tried to give the best case scenario so you know lots of a nice sunny day um in the log profile i gave it m way more photos than than i did with my four gopro rig I mean, this is like uh, almost 600 photos, I think, for this one. Um, you know, taken taken out of, uh, you know, rendered a sequence out of um, Resolve as frame sequence, right? So I'm going to just uh, stop the video um, and then see if I can get this any better. Because this is just like the first initial stab. And there's some things that are really good about it. But there's a lot I don't like about it. Um, I just don't like that it hasn't got the flat surfaces of, of the buildings, right? You know, and, you, and maybe that's because I'm not close enough to it. And I'm always... That's something, obviously, I'm always within range of the ground, you see. So it's obviously the further away you get, the more... I mean, that doesn't look terrible. I might increase the bounding box to see if we can get the other side of the thing. But um, I saw on... Um, so this one. Yeah, this this company is a bit like Matterport. Apart from they they, they pair up with your uh, BIM, which is building 
integration management or something or something like that um so for, for your cad autocad so aligning it with your jeep you know what so you've had so that the models aligned with you can put it in google maps and all the stuff way more thing than i'd ever need but i was curious to try but i can't use this because i've only got the insta 360 one x and they 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 have to have the one x2 is where they start so i can't i can't even use this which is a bit annoying um but i'm wondering as it, i i there's a lot of stuff it's offering that i don't need i i just need an obj the highest quality possible i don't need gps um i don't need measuring tools um so this is really aimed at proper surveying stuff um so anyway um so let me i'm going to see if i can get this any better just thinking you might be maybe i've got settings wrong or something um so i'm going to as I say disable the rolling shutter optimize the cameras and do another mesh okay i'll just stop the video okay so after i, I did the optimization and uh, I mean, uh, and then switched off the rolling shutter, and it's a little better. And also, I dropped the resolution, so we're at medium as opposed to high. Um, and I, I think it's just a proximity thing. So this is the, I think, the advantage over you, you, because the thing is, obviously, the further you get go away in a 3D, the further an object is in a lat long, you know, 360 picture, like that building over there, the lower resolution, it's less information, right? So if that was on a go, if that was like, as I say, if you split this it, this lat long into four chunks, and imagine each one of those is the field of view of a GoPro, you can see that like 5K across that, you, it's just going to be more information. So it's always going to be better. And and I think the proximity thing is because it's that's why the ground is so good because it's I'm holding this thing, the camera is above me about so it's like maybe two and a half meters or something like that. Maybe you know, that's I think why the ground is resolved. Well, so and then the door has resolved well because I was close to that, right? And the doorstep and all that sort of stuff. So basically, the long and the short of it is, is I think the 360 stuff is only really good for proximity. You know, if, if you're doing a whole street, you're not, you can't guarantee that you're going to be like three meters away from stuff, really. So, I, I, because it will just anything further, it sort of lacks the definition, as you can see here over here, to to resolve properly. As well as that's less of an issue using four GoPros. So my my call on it is I think you you pro well it depending on what you're trying to do, right? Um if you if you can get close to stuff, relatively close to stuff like, you know, 3 meters away or whatever, then then okay, yes, you could use the 360 thing, 360 camera, but I yeah, my I I seem to be getting better results just using four GoPros. And I, I mean, I thought, well, maybe I need to get a better 360 camera, but the the, the, the consumer ones that only get up to 6K, you know, really want something that goes up to 16K or, so, or 12K, you know, the super high end stuff. And that's just like ridiculously expensive. Um, so I'm going to stick with my GoPro method if I, you know, if I do any more of this sort of thing um, and maybe get a newer, or it, it's, it's basically get four, I need four cameras that, are high resolution uh, maybe not action cameras but just yeah <laughs> i mean it's just going to get expensive i guess um but um but yeah it's just yeah it didn't quite work out you know i gave it all the best uh, best um setting you know in terms of the uh gave it more frames so it should be better um and also i i gave it um i was shot in log so better dynamic range and all, all the things um, but I, I, yeah, I still, and I, I, knew, I knew the 360 stuff wasn't great, because I, I, about two years ago, I, I had the Insta 360 One X, I think it was about two years ago, and I tried to cycle around the village, um, thinking, oh, this, this might work, and the model I got back was terrible, <laughs> and it's just that, yeah, anything further than three meters. I mean, the, um, the company that did, oops, not that one, <laughs> um, yeah, the, the. Uh, the company that's offering a cloud-based service doing 360 stuff, uh, turning it into like um, mod point clouds for CAD, they um, they recommended five meters, and I think even five meters is too too far away. It's just not enough, not enough information. Um, I I think to to resolve properly in the photogrammetry stuff. So, so that's my take on it. Um, it's you know it's interesting that other people are trying different methods, but I, this is why I sort of stepped away from 
using 360 cameras for, for photogrammetry because it's sort of like there just isn't the definition there you get better definition with four stills cameras um and um yeah so that that's that's it really oh, i shall stop the video